The bunker business is currently paying out double money this week, so today I'm going to share with you how to make millions with it as a solo player in GTA Online. So of course the first thing you'll need is a bunker, and there are a ton of them, but there are a few that are the best. The best bunkers to go for are the ones that are as close to Los Santos as possible, or as close to a highway as possible, because all of your cell missions will be down here in the city. So for me, I have the farmhouse bunker, which I do think is the best bunker, but it is a little bit more expensive, although this week they're all on discount, which makes it a lot easier to get them. So if you have the time to get the money to buy the farmhouse bunker, I definitely would. These three bunkers up here also work because they're also close to your MC businesses. Same thing with the farmhouse bunker. And the Chumash bunker over here works as well. It is cheaper than the other ones, but it is farther away from your MC businesses. But once you get the MC business, you could then head over here to the laptop and this is where you're going to make all of your money this week. So the way this business works is you either steal or buy supplies. Over time, those supplies get turned into product which you could later sell over here at the sell stock button for a profit. Now, in order to make the most amount of money with the bunker, you're also going to have to get the equipment and staff upgrade, but they're also on discount this week. And for this part of the business, also make sure to assign all staff to manufacturing. Once you've done both, then always buy supplies for $75,000 as it does save you time and money. One full batch of supplies will fill up your nightclub stock by 20% and it will take two hours and 20 minutes to do that. And once you've done that, you could then go and sell it for $420,000 this week. Now, the best part of the business is that the process of turning supplies into stock happens in the background. All you have to do is be in an online session, whether invite only or public session. And so the process of making stock is actually passive. It's just done in the background for you. Now, the level at which you sell your stock is completely up to you. But if you are a solo player and you want to get the easiest sell mission possible, the best thing to do is to sell after one resupply because you're only ever going to get one sell vehicle. And that's because if you sell your stock at roughly a quarter of the stock level or less, you're only going to get to one sell vehicle. If you sell when the stock bar is halfway full, you'll get to up to two sell vehicles. If you sell when the stock bar is three quarters way full you'll get up to three cell vehicles and if you sell the stock bar when it's full you will get up to four cell vehicles now recently rockstar increased the time that you have for cell missions just to make some of the larger cell missions easier to do but if you're a solo player and want to make your life easier make sure to sell after one resupply every time now as you can see if you do let the stock build up you can make a lot of money in one cell mission and the most you could make is 2.1 million dollars selling to los santos if you have a full bunker. But in order to make the most amount of money possible, you also have to go into a public session with 25 or more people because that will give you a 50% bonus on your sale. And that is why I'm now here in a public session with, as you can see, 27 people because I'm gonna do my sell mission here. Now doing a sell mission in a public lobby can be a bit daunting, but there are a couple things you could do to make it a little bit easier and to make sure you are safe. So the first thing to do is before you do the sell mission, check out the lobby, look around and see what people are up to. If you see a bunch of people flying around with oppressor mark twos or raijus or sparrows, whatever it may be, that are griefing people, that's definitely not a session you want to sell in. Move on to another one to save yourself from getting griefed. But if things look pretty peaceful, then you could sell in the lobby. So I'm seeing that nobody's really doing anything crazy right now. Everything looks fairly decent, but the other thing to do is to check the player list and to see if there's any modders or hackers. And as, as you can see, the very first person is level 8,000. That is not actually possible to do legit. So you know that's a modded account, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're trying to grief people. It might just be that they bought a modded account. So I'm gonna trust that this time, we're gonna sell in this lobby and hopefully things go well. I have just shy of $1.7 million worth of stock to sell. And if I complete this mission correctly and everything goes smoothly, I should be making roughly 2.5 million on the sale. So as you can see, it's warning me of multiple vehicles, that's fine. But this is the second thing you have to do when selling in a public lobby, and that is make sure you get the right sell mission. Now, as you can see here, we have the three insurgent mission and they have a total of 15 drop offs. Although this is possible to complete in the time 45 minutes because I'm doing it in a public session, it's more likely I might get griefed here with three separate vehicles. So I'm going to load into a new session and hopefully get something different. Now doing that does lose you some stock. I think I lost 60 to $70,000 there, but it's not the end of the world because if I did do that mission and I did get griefed, I would be losing everything. And that's something to keep in mind. If you are getting griefed or being chased after during your sell mission, you could always load into a new session and only lose a little bit of your stock. So we're going to go for it again. I already checked the lobby. There are a couple people with the pressers. I'm hoping that they're going to be fairly kind to everybody, but we will see. But once again, the second check we have to do is what kind of sell mission do we have? All right, as you can see, we got another mission with 15 deliveries. So I'm just going to see if I could get a better one once again. As you can see, once again, lost another 60, 70K, but I do think it is worth it. 
I would only do this refresh maybe three to four times because at that point you're just losing tons of money. But hopefully we get a better mission this time. Is it going to be 15 deliveries? No, this time we get the better insurgent mission where you only have three drop offs. So the missions you're looking for are ones that only have three drop offs, maybe two drop offs. 15 deliveries is a lot and I would suggest not doing those. So the first thing when selling in a public lobby is to make sure that the people in the lobby are fairly peaceful. The second thing is to make sure you get a decent sell mission. The third thing is to sell at night because it does offer you some cover. And then the fourth thing is to use ghost organization. And to do that, to go to your interaction menu, head over to secure serve, down to CEO abilities and go down to ghost organization. This costs $12,000, but it takes you and your product off the radar for up to three minutes. So hopefully in that time you could complete one or two deliveries and hopefully it's enough time for people to not realize you're selling and they don't bother you at all. And there you go, that is the first delivery complete. I'm now gonna call up my Sparrow and get back to the bunker as fast as possible. All right, this is the second delivery complete. And on the way to pick up my final delivery vehicle, I'm gonna use off the radar so that people don't know where I am. It won't take my product off the radar once I get there, but at least people will lose me for a couple minutes or for a minute so that they don't know exactly where I'm going right away. Now using both ghost organization and off the radar might be a bit overkill, but if you wanna be really safe during cell missions in public lobbies, these are the best precautions to use. And here we are at the final destination. We finally did it, that is amazing. And as you can see, I made just under $2.3 million. Of course, if I didn't have to reset a couple times, that would be closer to 2.5, but considering we're doing literally no work, this is by far one of the best ways to make money in the entire game this week. Now keep in mind, in order to have a full bunker, it will take $375,000 worth of supplies and 12 hours to completely fill up. And although you could have that happen while playing the game over time, there is an easier way to run this business and that is by going AFK. Now, for those of you who may not know what AFK means, it's essentially a way to trick the game or let the game believe that you're in an online session or you're in a lobby while actually not playing the game. Because when you don't play the game normally, it will kick you out of a session after 15 minutes, but doing this will stop that from happening. So your bunker can produce its stock in the background for you while you do other stuff throughout the day. Now, quite a few of these AFK methods have been patched over the past couple of years, but the easiest one to do right now, and it's still working because I used it in order to fill up my bunker for this week, is to head over to a high-end apartment or an apartment, sit down and watch the TV. Turn it on, and all you're gonna do is go to the channel where you're spectating other players. While you're in the spectator screen, the game will not kick you out. Of course, this does require you to be in a public session, but leave it here. And I've gone AFK for like 10, 12 hours using this method before and I've had no issues. So if you wanna fill up your bunker while you're sleeping, while you're out at work, while you're out at school, this is a great way to do it. Just make sure you disband as an MC president or as a CEO beforehand so that none of your businesses are raided. But that's gonna be all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope it helped you out. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Peace.